Hedge fund manager, Mets owner Steve Cohen, telling CNBC Squawk Box earlier today that this era of artificial intelligence reminds him of the 90s. But does Silicon Valley agree? Deirdre Bosa, of course, with that story for today's Tech Check. Morning, Deirdre. Hey, good morning, Sarah. And the short answer is yes. Which year of 90s we will talk about, but a lot of what he said is what Silicon Valley has been talking about for months, from productivity and efficiency gains to it feeling more like 95 than 99. Here he is on the ladder. I don't see it as a bubble. I mean, I think the markets are discounting some of what uh, we, you know, they think AI is going to do for companies. You think it's discounting? Discounting. So I, you think that yeah. there's even more upside I as do. a result of AI? I, I, you know, my view is this is a really durable theme. I'll, get, I'll give you one little anecdote. Uh, my, my, my CTO comes to me and says I can save the firm $25 million by, uh, you know, doing, you know, using these LLMs to uh, improve our efficiency. Now, we're, we're a nice sized firm. We're not a huge firm. So imagine what big companies can do. And that's just one thing, okay? So it gives you, a, a, you know, a, a little bit of a look into what's right. possible. We don't have to imagine this. It is already happening. Mega caps like Meta and Alphabet, they are shrinking their workforces and, and shrinking their hiring. It's this idea that senior AI researchers or data analysts, they can do more with Gen AI than an army of junior engineers who code, even at non-strictly tech companies. AT&T, for example, is using generative AI to upgrade legacy software code. That's a process that typically would have required a team of consultants going through the old coding line by line would have cost somewhere in the millions of dollars. Another big theme in AI that Cohen hit on, we don't yet know who the winners are. You gotta do the work and figure out you know, what companies are gonna benefit. And frankly, it's going to be companies that you haven't even heard of. There'll be new right. companies. I mean, when you have technological change like this, you know, it sort of reminds me of the 90s, where you know, the, be the best new companies came out of that period. In the Bay Area, we talk a lot about AI wrapper companies. These are startups that build on top of foundational models. So can a better interface like Perplexity's chatbot, which draws from different LLMs, can that really challenge Google search dominance? We just don't know yet, but nearly everyone I talk to agrees with Cohen. This isn't like the dot-com bubble of 99. It's more like 95. We're just getting started and there's room to run. Although, guys, you can't invest in a lot of them. The ones that aren't household names yet, they're private. And there's a lot of incentive, and the private markets, especially for AI, are still flush with cash, perhaps providing more capital funding in the private markets for a lot of these companies.